What is up guys, it's the NJB here and today I'm going to be talking about the end of Maron Fellaini's career at Manchester United. So basically I've been looking at Manchester United's like transfers over the summer and there's one transfer that's kind of made me realize that I think Fellaini might just be done at Manchester. So even if he's not done, he's definitely not going to be on the pitch as much as we've seen him in the past few seasons and that is a good thing. So let me just talk about it real quick. and. Yeah, so let's get right into the video. So, if you guys haven't been paying attention, over the summer, Manchester United have signed a few players. But the most notable player that they've signed for this video is Matic. So they signed Matic from Chelsea for around 14 million pounds. So Manchester United signed Matic and now he is one of the newest midfielders at Manchester United. He's one of the newest players and we all know his quality I mean, we've all seen him play at Chelsea and we know he's a pretty solid holding midfielder. So I think now Manu's midfield is probably going to look like Pogba, um, Ana Herrera and Matic. They may also use Carrick at times but I feel like it's going to be mainly those three players Pogba, Matic and Herrera. So that begs the question since Matic came in and Jose Mourinho bought him and he obviously knows how good he is and he's definitely going to use him as a starter. Does that mean Fellaini is done? So I was kind of thinking about this because first of all Fellaini is a legend I guess. I mean somehow someone of his qualities has been able to be in Manchester United's starting lineup for years and years and years. Okay it's only been like a few years but it really seems like it's been quite a while. I mean, it's been kind of a wonder why um, Manu's had three different coaches and all three of them insist on using the man. I mean, let's face it, he's not hes not one of the top quality players you'd think of. I mean, when you think of the best like defensive midfielders, he's not one of the first players that comes to mind. But somehow, apparently in the minds of the managers, he is. Something he does, I guess the way he plays, maybe it's just his height. Managers like him in the squad, and even though more like most of the Man U fans clearly don't seem to agree with that. Fellaini's always been in the squad and then Fellaini's always being used. But now that Matic has moved to Manchester United, he plays the same position Fellaini does, but he's better than Fellaini, he has a better touch, better ball distribution, and he doesn't foul people for like pointless reasons, kind of like Fellaini does. He's not as dirty as Fellaini and he's he does all the dirty work, but he's much cleaner with it. And he's definitely more reliable than Fellaini is. So. I don't see Fellaini ever starting over Matic unless Matic gets injured. So I really want to know, does that mean Fellaini is done? Is Fellaini still going to play as much? I know many fans are probably going to hope he doesn't and I know personally I would want to see Fellaini just go. I'd like to see him go to another team and just kind of forget about him and for the Fellaini saga to be over. But we really don't know what's going to happen. If Mourinho was so keen on using Fellaini last season, I kind of doubt he'd let him go all of a sudden. But still, I just don't see someone like Fellaini beating Matic in a starting spot or in a starting lineup. I mean, Pogba's already there, Ana Herrera's already there, um, Carrick's, he's old but he's still good, he's still useful, and he plays his position kind of better than Fellaini does. And he's more experienced and he's more reliable than Fellaini is. So again, I just beg the question, does that mean Fellaini's done at Manchester United? or? Is the manager going to find somewhere to put him? Is he just going to stick him somewhere in the team sheet? Or, I don't I don't know guys, I don't know. So, personally, I hope Fellini's done. I mean, they did sign matches, so it should mean Fellini has to go somewhere. Maybe on loan, or maybe just to a, I don't know, Turkish team. I heard he might go to a team in Turkey. Don't remember which one, maybe it might have been Besiktas. But, he might be leaving. So. I just want to make this video on this like topic because I kind of thought Fellaini might just be going away from Manchester United. I mean, I've been thinking it for like every time Manchester got a, another manager, but so far we haven't heard like that much talk about it, and it doesn't seem like there's a lot of talk about Fellaini leaving. I mean, he hasn't said anything, and Mourinho hasn't said anything either. But I like to think that's going to happen, or at least that Manchester United's midfield is going to be much stronger and. There's actually going to be more players carrying a slack rather than them just kind of depending on Pogba. So, anyway, that's just what I want to make this video about. I kind of want to know, do you guys think Fellaini's going to leave now that matches there? And that there are so many other good midfielders in Manu's midfield. 
and now there probably isn't enough space for Fellaini. I mean, I would like to see him leave, but then again, Mourinho did have a Schweinsteiger on the bench and start Fellaini instead. So, bear in mind, if a coach is willing to do that, we really don't know what else he's willing to do. So, yeah. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video at JB. I just want to kind of talk about this because it was something that was going through my head. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers, mates.